So this video is all about CSINET life science strategy. So when I say CSINET life science strategy, there are two types of strategy that come in our mind. One is the CSINET life science preparation strategy and the second one is CSINET life science examination strategy. So there are some strategy that you need to build and continue follow during your preparation. These are preparation strategy and that includes the number of units that you prepare, preferably 10 out of 13 units for CSINET life sciences. And the units are unit 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 10, 11, 13. Next is uh, the preparation style that you need to prepare and understand the topic concepts at the early point of your preparation. And then as you go close to the exam date, you start preparing for remembering topic or memory based topics for part B. So for part C, the preparation would be earlier than for part B. That is the preparation scheme during your CSINET preparation and that is the strategy. Second type of strategy or examination strategy is when what you do in the exam hall. You should attain part C question first, then part A, then last part B questions or start with part A, then C, then B. It's always better to score more in part C than in part B. So our target is always to achieve maximum marks. In fact, 100 out of the 100 marks in part C. That should be your target. Okay. So follow these strategies for a better marks and score in CSRNet Life Sciences. If you wish to build and if you wish to know individual detailed strategy for preparation in details, then uh, you need to join Shomus Biology. The details are there in the description as well as in this video. We'll see you there. Thank you. Bye.